Hey gang, Marco Blau welcoming you back to the Alley Cat Workshop. For those of you that are following my channel, you'll know that I'm currently working on a set of cabinets for my former regiment, the Royal Canadian Hussars. And I'm at the point right now where I need to cut glass in order to finish my shelves and the windows that are going to go on the cabinets. Now I've cut plexiglass in the past on an old table saw and it was a little bit scary. I will tell you that cutting glass or plexiglass today is slightly scarier for a couple of reasons. Number one is the price tag of plexiglass. So yesterday I went out to my home center and bought all the plexiglass that I need for the six shelves and six windows. A couple of different uh, um, sizes, so on and so forth. The bill came out to $1,017. Ouch. So if I make a mistake, it's going to cost a lot of money. And I don't want to do that. So that was the first thing. The second thing is... Uh, I have a saw stop and you all have heard of the safety features on the saw stop. Great, but when you're cutting plexiglass, because it's a conductive material, it is recommended that you run the uh, saw in what they call bypass mode, which means that the safety features are deactivated. It's just like any other table saw. So a little scary, but honestly, if you handle this thing with respect, and you use push blocks such as micro jigs, then you're going to be just fine. So in this video, what I'd like to show you is my technique for cutting plexiglass using a saw stop. All right, so on my table saw right now, I'm using this as a work environment. I have uh, a piece of plexiglass which is two feet wide, four feet long, and I need to do two cuts. The first cut is to remove a little over seven inches uh, on one side in the diagonal, and then I need to make another cross cut to split this in half. So what I've found is the best thing to do is to actually scribe a quick line where you want to make your cut. It's not essential, but what it will do is it will at least make it easier for the next step. So let me just make my couple of marks. I'll then take a straight edge. And just scribe a line. Next, I'm going to take some blue painter's tape and tape over the line so that when you cut with the table saw it will make it a little bit cleaner and again I'm erring on the side of caution here just to make sure that I've got a really nice cut so let's put this off and finally here we go I'm going to use some double sided tape Put a couple of pieces
And then the last thing I will do is using that double sided tape, I will put on a piece of quarter inch plywood. And I'm now ready basically to make my first cut. Now before I show you making my cut, why don't I show you how to switch the saw stop in bypass mode. So what you do to begin with is you flip up the main switch and the saw will run through its diagnostics. Once you only have a solid green light, you're good to go. Next step there's a key here on the right. I'm going to flip that clockwise 90 degrees and that is going to start the bypass mode. You'll see one or two red lights flashing and once that is done then I'll be able to start the saw. I will always keep the key turned at 90 degrees. Once the saw is started I'll see one or two red lights. Once they are gone the green light should be flashing I let go of the key and we're good to go. We're in bypass mode. Turn the key. Start the saw. All right, we're in bypass mode. Stop the saw. We're back in regular mode. So hopefully this was pretty useful for you. Simple method, just takes a little bit of prep work. Take your time. It's well worth it considering the costs that are involved. One thing I will mention before going is after once I'm done all my cuts, I will take my saw blade out of the saw stop and I will wash it uh, so that I don't have any residue, plastic residue anywhere inside of the teeth, which could trip the mechanisms. All right, that's what I got for you. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if this was useful. Uh, click subscribe if you haven't done so. I'd appreciate that, and I will see you soon.